Well, the FAA has apparently briefly halted flights today, and they're saying that they had to do so because of a staff shortage amid this government shutdown. Now, there's talks that there may be a reopening, and there's been this talk for the past half hour or so out here. There's supposed to be an announcement at 1 p.m. We'll wait and we'll see if that comes through. If so, there should be more information right there as to what they're going to do, if they're going to keep this open for a short period of time, what that means, if that even goes down. But what they're saying at this point is this is affecting things across the board in terms of air traffic control, people not wanting to show up. There were some 14,000 IRS workers that also did not show up. And they're saying that this order was issued around 10 o'clock local time where some flights at the airport were being delayed and they're saying this is all connected to the 35th day of the longest government shutdown in history or partial shutdown in history. So they put out different statements trying to explain away what's happening here. An increase in sick leave at two facilities and People not wanting to show up, and we've talked about this, all the way from IRS individuals to Secret Service agents, FBI agents even, that were complaining, saying that they couldn't do what they were meant to do, and that they couldn't pay bills, pay rent, and all this other stuff. But this is just showing the effects of the whole thing. We'll see what happens here come 1 o'clock. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for more. I'll be updating there as that information is released. And also join us for Underground World News Live every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern on Dabu 77. I'll be updating on all these events right there. Hope to see you guys then.